Okay, so I'm trying to do an edging video. And we have my daughter, a little necklace she wanted. She picked everything. Okay. This is the white is Pellon. I glued some vinyl on there. Instead of leather, it's lighter. Put it in between. Mm, for the first one only, pick up three beads. I'm using two cuts for this. I guess I should have showed that. You go through the last one. Now you pick up two only. It's hard to see. For this string, I usually do two arm lengths. Go through that one. This is just one way. You can do other ways. I'll make other videos. Hopefully, I can get it to focus a little better. I know people have been asking me on my Instagram page to make some edging videos. Uh, my Instagram page is Beating by T. <laughs> if you want to check it out. Got a Facebook page too. And that's how it's looking so far. This is with three cuts with uh, different beads. Like if you use seed beads, it would be different. Some don't have rhinestones, so you gotta do guesswork. Listen to some old school tunes. Oh yes, for me, they the old school. I'm just making this into a medallion necklace. My daughter wanted one, so... Usually if I was doing earrings, 
I would do the backing before I glued this uh, vinyl down. Unless you're doing hooks, like the hanging ones, then you would do it like this and then add the hook after. So I find a lot of people prefer a mouse trap backing, lever posts, fingernail posts. Everyone has different names. Best not to have scissors right beside you. Yeah. A lot of people do it differently. So if you're watching this and you bead and this isn't how you do it, well, this is just another way. Everyone has their own preferences. And I sew the banding down, I don't glue it down. You want to you wanna pull it tight, but not too tight, because then you'll find that it'll start bending on the edges. And that's not good. You want to try to keep it flat. Still just picking up two beads. At the end, you switch to one. That's how we started at the beginning with three. We just had the extra one with the end one. Again, this is my first time making a video, so... If you see I can make any adjustments or anything, I know I need a better camera, but just leave a comment. I'm sure I'll read them. <laughs> Sometimes they get knots. Or just wrap around the bead. Usually you could get it out. Beading thread is pretty strong. And it gets tangled in knots. This kind I have, I don't know. Try to find a good song here. My computer is freezing. Okay, well, we're stuck on this song, so. <laughs> Yeah. 
Go to a fabric store and buy it. It's where I buy the vinyl from. This fine is lighter weight than leather. I used to buy the vinyl from Michaels, but they don't sell it in Canada here where I am anymore. I know they sell it in the States, so if any of you guys in the States are watching, they have really nice ones. They have animal print and like sparkly ones and, and stuff with plain black. Sorry guys, I know I'm almost done, I just don't want to listen to that song. computer sucks okay so this is the second last one you can see there's a space there and a space here and this is where we started okay so I'm gonna put it through this one has two this is the last one with two Okay, see? Now we have one spot left. I'm gonna take one bead only, just one. I don't know how other people close it up. I close, I probably close it differently. But, okay, I'll try it this way so you guys can see. 
I go through where I started. Come through the back. I just find it's it's easier when I go backwards on the last one. You don't have to. You could go through the back like we're doing the whole way. This is just how I do it. See, and then it's connected, but it's not looking right. So I put it up through the first bead. So the last one is over here. This is the first one that we're putting it through. I know it's hard to see on my camera, it sucks. See, you now it's kind of, other people, some people tie it there. I go through the one that's, oh, hooked myself. So we're sticking out here. Hard to see. I'm going to stick it through this one length flat at the top here. Right here. Right here. It's hard to see. Maybe if I go back here a bit. So I already pulled it up. Right. And that's when we have to probably just hurry up already. Push it through that one. I just think it looks cleaner like when you end it and then I push it down the next one that's facing down I send it through that bead again see like that and then I don't know you you don't have to put it through all of those again I just think it sits it nicer in the end my computer just died yeah, but and then you cut it off, cut it, tie it, however you want to finish. And we, that is how you edge with that edging design.